Eh, Bob here. Without any lock. Anyways, here's the old radiator. Pull it out. Put the new one already put in. I didn't really video it. It's all the same stuff you always do. Anyways, uh, everything uh, went good. No problems. And uh, I got it running. Filled it back up. It didn't take as much. Uh, antifreeze as my old one did my old one's all brass the new one's plastic which i don't like but that's all they have unless you want to pay 800 bucks for the all brass one i was thinking i would go ahead and try to figure out where this is leaking at it's actually i got it turned up right now to let it drain out i'll rinse it out get all that old antifreeze out of there uh it's actually new antifreeze because i just put it in here when i got everything back together but uh Anyways, uh, I noticed it was leaking uh, somewhere around here on the, the other side, the uh, engine side, and uh, I don't know. I can fix some of that stuff. This is like a fin or something. It's what you call a three-core. They got a or three-row. They got three rows in here of these. The new one is only a two-row, and uh, sometimes these get wore out down the side here. You can see. And uh, I think uh, I, at first I thought it was because uh, that it started leaking because uh, my fan was hitting my fan trap when I first started this back up after it had been set for a long time and I swapped that motor. But looking at it, let me see if I can do this. Drop my phone here. Looking at it, it looks like it's been leaking for a while. Somewhere right around here. And uh, I don't know. These, uh, I mean, they don't last forever, but I could pressure test it. I could figure it out. The, the problem is, it's like, it's just time. It takes time to, to do. Then you got to figure if you're going to try to solder it up, raise it up. If you find a leak, great. But it, it's like, it's just time that I'm not going to get paid for. It'll save me money down the road if I ever need another radiator, but, uh, I'm not really that concerned about it right now. This new right here was only like a 113 bucks, so not bad. Dura last, and like I said, I mean I could get all brass if I want to spend, you know, six, seven, eight hundred bucks. But for a vehicle, I don't even drive. I've not hardly even driven it since I've had it. Uh, I'm not gonna spend that much. I've already spent much on the motor swapping and everything else. Spent a lot of my own labor uh, fabricating different things, but. Uh, it's no longer a V8, at least not right now. I'll get the other V8, uh, the 350 going here before long. It'd be my winter project. Anyways, I uh, just wanted to report on that. New radiator is in. There was a spot on the box that uh, I almost told him I wasn't going to take it, but it didn't look like it got into the channel itself. So I'll just keep an eye. He said, well, it's lifetime warranty. And they know, so we made note of it on the receipt that it was damaged if I ever had any issues down the road. It's, it's lifetime warranty anyway, so it doesn't even matter. If it fails, it fails. So that's a good thing. One other thing I figured out, and uh, well, I mean, I know this, I haven't figured it out yet, is uh, my voltage when I run this, it uh, goes 16, 17, 18 volts from my, uh, my satellite speedometer. It shows that on here. I'm not, I don't have it turned on right now, but uh, I noticed uh, it's overcharging, which uh, is possibly my alternator needs to be swapped out. And if that's the case, I'll just I'll take the one off my, I've got the other one from the V8 that I could put on here. It was working just fine. It might have even been a fairly new alternator. I don't remember if I swapped it out or not. But uh, I need to make or buy a gauge uh, bracket to hold uh, all my gauges, uh, at least the, you know, the, the main three or four. I'm going to do uh, temperature sending unit, uh, oil pressure, and then of course the ammeter, you know, to see my voltage. Uh, and I have the, the one right here, and that's for vacuum. And I don't have it hooked up right now. I, I plan to. I just uh, trying to get this going. I don't want to keep messing with it. I need to get it to uh, stop leaking, start running right, which it does run right now, you know, you gotta warm it up, uh, you know, with the choke and everything, but it drives great, and runs good, once it's warmed up, it runs smooth as a whistle, no hiccups or nothing. Uh, 
I need to get the past inspection and then I can do whatever I want with the work and anything else I need to do because uh, until I get the past inspection um, they're going to start harassing me about having to sit in my driveway too long and uh, my tires are all good the only thing is is uh, some of these are kind of cracking from sitting in the sun for so long and this side isn't so bad but boy that other side it looks pretty bad mm. Here. Yeah, you can see that's pretty bad right there. Ugh, real bad. These were new tires. The, the problem was they sat outside for so long. See how bad that is? That's dangerous. So I'm gonna probably uh, replace these these uh, tires. The front one up here is the original. I can't use that for something. And there's it's old, but it's got enough tread. It should pass. I just need to pass inspection. My discs are all good. My brakes look good in there. Uh, a little rusted from sitting for so long. But anyways, just wanted to kind of give a little heads up. What's going on here now? So hopefully, I got. A, I'm working a 12-hour shift later today, three to three. 3 p.m. 3 a.m. and uh, doesn't happen too often. Usually it's normal shift, but six, seven days a week. Uh, since this COVID stuff's happened, it's not been so bad. But uh, uh, yeah, and I see from the other side of the engine. Well, sorry to change the subject. I can see daylight right through there, so it's like I need to. I got the gas for that too. But uh, yeah, anyways, back to what I was talking about. Uh, so probably this next week, uh, I got to test drive a little bit. That's all water. I just rinsed off whatever over, overflowed uh, antifreeze I have when I was pouring it in. I overflowed it, so I rinsed it down so the animals don't start drinking on it. It's bad stuff for the animals, and, and uh, that's water from the radiator. So hopefully this next week I'll get it inspected, hopefully passed. Uh, I, want, I need to start driving it, start doing stuff with it. I don't know if I've shown that spotlight I guess my city, you're not even allowed to really drive around with these spotlights on. But uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool if I ever need to use that winch. Turn it on, do whatever. That's another one of those switches I have in here on the dash. It's in the far over there. I got several toggle switches actually up there. And then it also has one right here underneath my tack holder. But, uh, anyways, that's all I got. Here's the back. Y'all haven't seen it in a while. It's, Step back. Here's the seat. Ah. And I'll get it all figured out what I'm gonna do with my arrangement. Multi-purpose. That's the name of the game. I want to be able to throw some kayaks in here, run around, have some fun, go camping. The job box can roll right out. And it's on wheels. Rolls right out and uh, rolls right in the back of my pickup truck. I got a rubber mat right here for now. I may uh, get one that fits between the wheel wells and you know as long as I can make it so when I walk through here this is vinyl plank but I've already noticed when I drill stuff and I tap some holes the other day that the chips will get down on the floor and uh, with this vinyl it will actually will dig in there it'll do that on wood too but I need some way to protect this while I'm doing business stuff and then for recreational I can throw a rug down or, or whatever but uh, let me see so you see the layout right now this is just temporary and so that's the, the dig. These are pretty handy to have if you ever need a drill press and you just got a cordless drill and you can mount this solid or clamp it down. Yeah, I got this at an angle so the drawers don't fly open. I don't know if you can tell. And it, it's worked so far. I've been driving around. And uh, of course, I got this locked. I think I've shown all this stuff in the other videos. Keep my wiring schematic if I ever need it. And then, uh, the usual mechanic stuff, so that's all I got. I just wanted to share the, the latest uh, adventure with trying to get this thing on the road. Um, everyone's talking about naming their vehicles. I still haven't really, you know, I don't know, I think it's kind of silly, but the more I think about it, it's like, you know, I do need to have a name for it. <laughs> so I, I'm thinking uh, I got to come up with a name. Anyone got any ideas, uh, let me know. Uh, rust bucket, piece of crap, whatever. I mean, I won't use those, but uh, 
you gotta have something good uh, to bring some good luck uh anyways uh good luck to y'all y'all have a wonderful weekend and thanks for watching bye bye